scientists from the world's largest particle accelerator have made a first of its kind discovery. And it is an antimatter breakthrough that could help solve one of the biggest mysteries of the universe. The mystery behind the Big Bang itself. Physicists have observed a never before seen subatomic particle, a beauty baryon, which brings scientists a step closer to understanding how matter is structured in the universe. Hello and welcome to The Print. I am Soumya Pillay and this is Pure Science. At the Large Hadron Collider at CERN near Geneva in Switzerland, researchers have pointed at a short-lived cousin of protons and neutrons, the beauty lambda baryon. This finding is part of the ongoing research into the behavior of the beauty quarks and their role in understanding the matter-antimatter imbalance in the universe. While beauty quarks have been studied for years, this particular discovery marks a significant step in understanding the fundamental particles and the forces that govern the universe. Before we go further into the details of the research, a quick physics lesson on what a beauty particle is. It is just another name for a bottom quark. And quarks are tiny pieces of matter that combine to make particles like protons and neutrons. The bottom quark are crucial for scientists studying particles and their interaction with one another. And they are primarily studied in experiments in particle accelerator. Researchers have observed that this composite subatomic particle, composed of an up quark, a down quark, and a beauty quark, decays at a different rate than its antimatter counterpart, a difference caused by a phenomenon known as charge parity violation. Describing how particles with opposite charges don't behave identically, the charge parity or CP violation is of key importance in cosmological theories that seek to explain the observed dominance of matter over antimatter in the universe. Charge parity or as I said CP is a combination of two parts. The C means flipping the charges of particles, like turning a positive particle like a proton into a negative one, like an antiproton. The P means flipping things in space, like looking at a mirror image of a particle's motion. Together, CP symmetry would mean that if you reversed both the charge and the mirror image of everything, things should behave the same. However, earlier observations have shown that this has not always been the case. Some particle decays break the symmetry, which is interesting because it shows that nature doesn't always behave the same when you flip charges and mirror things. In simpler terms, CP symmetry says that flipping charges and flipping the picture of things should lead to the same result, but we found cases where it doesn't. Now, what is matter and antimatter? Matter is everything around us, like the things that make up you, me, and the Earth itself. It's made up of particles like protons, electrons, and neutrons. Antimatter is like the opposite matter, if you will. The particles of antimatter have the opposite charges. For instance, an antiproton has a negative charge opposite of a proton's positive charge and an anti-electron, called a positron, has a positive charge opposite of an electron's negative charge. So in short, matter is what makes up everything and antimatter is its opposite with opposite charges. Describing how particles with opposite charges don't behave identically, the charge parity violation is of key importance in cosmological theories that seek to explain the observed dominance of matter over antimatter in the universe. The current findings offer new insight into why matter fits the standard models pattern, which help us understand the fundamental structure of the universe, how particles interact with each other and why it may have triumphed over antimatter nearly 14 billion years ago. 
To get to this, scientists analyzed data gathered by the Large Hadron Collider beauty detector during the collider's first two runs spanning 2009 and 2018. They looked for instances where the lambda particle decayed into a proton, a kaon, and two oppositely charged pions, and did the same for its antimatter counterpart, the anti-lambda. Ultimately, they counted the number of decays for each particle and calculated the difference between them. The results showed a 2.45% difference in decay rates between lambda and anti-lambda particles, enough to confirm CP violations with 5.2 sigma level of confidence considered to be the gold standards of a scientific discovery. While CP violations in baryons has been long accepted, the complex predictions of the standard model remains too imprecise to allow a thorough comparison with the Large Hadron Collider beauty measurement. The amount of CP violations it predicts is too small to account for the matter-antimatter asymmetry observed in the universe. According to researchers, this indicates possible new sources of CP violation beyond standard model. So this discovery marks a pivotal advancement in particle physics, enhancing our understanding of the fundamental laws governing the universe. That is all from me. I am Soumya Pillai and you were watching Pure Science.